Welcome back, guys. Your boy Train Guy here with another Alice Peter Ford tutorial. In this, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to install Alice Peter Ford, the mod Alice Peter Ford. So, click the link in the click click the link in the description. It'll bring you to this page right here. You can read this if you want to. If you have, don't worry about it. Scroll down until you get to this blue. Download this file file button. Click left click. You can read this all you want. You, you can read this if you want to. But all you really have to do is scroll down. Scroll down, click agree and download. Do not click the first one. Click the second one. If you click it, it'll do it do it'll do it for you. I know you I know everyone would enjoy that, but that's not how you learn. You learn by doing it yourself. So click the second one the manual install the bottom one click download okay four three two one boom it should it should pop up click save as and put it every destination of choice i already have it installed so i'm not going to install it or download it now next the next link you need is scripted v do not click the sdk one click the one that just says download and voila and again click save as and put it over there so you new choice I don't, I don't need it need to download it because i already have it downloaded so once you have done that Close out of the web browser. I can close out mine. You need your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory as well as your mod folders that you installed script security in Grand Theft Auto LSP Alright. I know I'm mumbling. Don't, don't, don't even say it. I'm not in the mood to hear it. Alright? So, please, bear with me. I'm doing the... I'm doing the best I can do. Alright. Um... Script V, Script V. Ooh. Script V, right click, open right, open it. Um... Script V, you can open it up, up. You can open up oh, Script V with WinRAR. Hey, I got it right. I got it right on the first, on the first try. Go train guy. Whoa. No, I'm getting. All right, open up with Win WinRAR. Win zip seven zip whichever one you have works just fine. Open up bin left click bin left click din what eight dot dll drag it drop it. If you are if you already have it installed, just click replace in the destination. That's what I do. Click replace and scripting v dot DLL, drag it to the buffer zone. Quote my shout out to my boy Jeffrey Gamer for for that word buffer zone. Drag it, drop it. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it. All right, click refresh. All right, when you have done that, close out your web. Not web browser. Jesus! 
Sorry, you. Sorry, Lord. Alright, close up your wind war. Open up your LSP far where you started at. Mine are at LS. Mine are. Ah. Alright. Scroll down. Open, open up with win rar win zip seven zip four at seven one here works just fine. All right, all you need to do is highlight these two pl the plugin folder LS Peter Fire folder, drag it to the buffer zone, drop it, and highlight these fourteen files, drag it to the buffer zone, buffer zone. There we go. Drag it, drop it, five, four, three, two, one, drop, and then click or refresh. And for the heck of it, go to before you do that, close out of this crap. You don't need this. Open. I said close it, not not make it bigger. Jeez. Alright. Alright, scroll down and to get to the range range plugin hook dot exe. Left click it. And then right click it. Right click it. And then when you see the Pin it to your taskbar. You can just click it, and voila, it's right here. Now, scroll back. So I got that guy torn on. All right. Once you've done that, scroll back up to your NSP4 folder. Okay, now I'm going to keys. If you set up your keys the way you like I do, you will not have any crashes. Change this to Q. Change this to N. <coughs> Alright. I like this. None. Right click. Copy. Uh, Q, change that to none. And highlight, click the, highlight the B, right click, copy to none. Once you've done that, once you've done that, click save, and it'll save your changes. Exit of that, open up your LSP for INI. Change this from true to false. All right. And if you're, if you want to use stop the head, um, if you want to use stop the head, change this to false. Change this from false to true. And camera disable camera focus. Change this to true. Okay. Once you've done that, click, click, click file, and then save. One more th thing. All right. Go back to your Grand Theft Auto Five directory and click refresh. It's always good to re click refresh. All right. You want to. Click, left click, your range plugin hook, exe, then once this window pops up, click yes and immediately, Im immediately hold your sh left shift, your left shift key. Alright.
this window will pop up. This window will pop up automatically when you first install it. But I'll show you what to do for the next time you want to address your settings in here. Yeah, 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 click OK. Alright. This message is critical. Do not click no. I don't want anyone, I don't want anyone to come into my comment section and come and ask me why didn't, why isn't my game operating? Why isn't my, why isn't my LSPDFR LS operating? It's because you do not make a backup of your current current version. So click yes. Creating a backup. It's that simple. It's not that hard to create a backup. It's not that hard. It 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 literally takes five seconds that's it all right when you get to this window window change this plug in timeout threshold to from one Change that to a six. Go to plugins. Load these. Load these plugins on startup. Startup, and click check all, and then load on load all plugins on startup. Start up. Jeez, my. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I'm talking funny. Alright. Okay, go down the backup game version and click this just to be safe. Alright. And go to command line switches. And you can you do this one I'm gonna have to ask CJ. Because he knows m more than I do about these, the which one to select. So let me ask him, and I'll tell you what. I'll tell you. I'll tell you when he tells me. So, because I don't know. But for now, click force window mode, and click borderless, borderless mode. Click that. All right. And then when you when you have done that, click save and launch, and it will, and your game will run. For me, I'm gonna click exit. Well, guys, this is gonna do it for tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that smash that subscribe button. Click that notification bell to all, so you never miss out. And it will help me. It will help me a lot. A lot. It'll help me a, a lot. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And join, join my Discord. The link is in the description as always. Until next time, be safe, stay healthy, and peace out.